Tom Lad, bring me my navigation table. Here you are, Captain. Master mate, me chart, please. One chart as requested, Captain. Pirates Willie Barnabas, me compass and dividers, please. Thank you. <laughs> now, holding the chart down with the compass, thus, and taking the dividers firmly in the right hand, we shut the eyes tightly and find our position thus. Amazing what one can do with modern scientific instruments. <laughs> The fact was that Captain Pugwash was lost. Not only lost, but becalmed as well. No breath of wind stirred the sails, and even if it had, the captain hadn't the faintest idea which way to sail. In actual fact, Captain, I could tell you exactly where we are. Indeed, Master Mate. How so? We are here, where it says, beware of sea monsters. And what leads you to that conclusion? Because if you look over your shoulder, Captain, you will observe a dirty great sea monster. Battling barnacles! <laughs> Help! <laughs> yeah. Oh! What's it want, Captain? Food, I should think. Hey, I, I, I reckon that means us. No, no, Willie. That's not a man-eating monster. Let's try it with some ship's biscuits. Look, uh, careful, Tom Lad. Don't, don't go too close. There. It seems to like that. And that's given me an idea, Cam. Suppose you take another box of biscuits and a length of rope. Let the others hoist you up the mast, out along the yard arm, and lower you onto the monster's head. Then you can dangle the biscuits in front of its nose like a carrot in front of a donkey. The monster will chase the biscuits and we put a tow rope on its tail. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, away we go, eh? <laughs> Excellent, Tom. Uh, only I think it would be better if uh, uh, you did the... Uh, uh, oh, no, Captain. I've got to keep the monster happy with my concertina. Uh, oh, very well. <laughs> to the end of the yard arm. Oh. Help. 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 Look out, Cap'n. Help. Oh, that's told it. He'd be the guy that got it all the wrong way round. Help. Never mind. The result's the same. Now, all we need to do is to get this rope onto the monster's tail like that. Suffering seaweed, said the captain, as he sat some time later in his cabin. I feel like a really sumptuous supper after all that excitement. You look like being a really sumptuous supper for the monster, thought Tom as he gazed out of the window. The black pig was safely at anchor, and the monster was enjoying its supper too. Maybe it's just as well some sea monsters are vegetarian. Cappy, Cappy, wake up! Just look at that there bird! Really, master mate, but we are pirates, not bird watchers. Suffering seagulls? What the... Neither a seagull nor suffering, Captain. That there bird is a dodo. Rubbish. Fiddlesticks. Everybody knows the dodo is extinct. Died out years ago. Not here it didn't. On this here far-flung Indian Ocean Highland, the dodo is not dead. <laughs> You realise what this means, my hearties? The whole world thinks the dodo is extinct. If we could capture this little lot and take them home, our fortune would be made. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, first catch a dodo, Captain. But, Captain, hey, I'll catch one. Watch. But, Captain, quiet, Tom. <laughs> Willy! So I've done its tail. That's what. Come back, Willy. But if you take all these dodos away, they really will die out. Rubbish, Tom. No, no, Willy. I have a far better plan. We will build a trap. A dodo trap. <laughs> to work, me hearties. <laughs> we'll have it there, under that tree. Oi, oi, Captain Sir. And uh, what shall we use to bait the trap? Donuts, Captain. I know dodos adore donuts. Splendid, splendid, me hearties. Bait in position, Master Mate. Aye, aye, Captain. Right. Now we shall all hide in the tree over the trap and watch as the dodos fly into it. But, Captain, they'll stop butting, Tom. You just lie low below and keep quiet. Now for the dodos. Hey, <laughs> I could do with one of those do Quiet, Willie. What's that? Uh, probably the mother dodo uh, calling its, uh, its, uh, yuck. <laughs> I was trying to tell you, Captain, dodos can't fly anyway, even if pirates can. Downwards. Oh, don't, 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 don't stand there chattering, Tom. Get us out of here. So Tom set to work to get the pirates out of their own dodo trap. They were all tired and very hungry by the time they'd finished. And as Tom rode them all back that evening to the black pig, the dodos watched and wondered what these curious creatures were. We'll all have supper in bed tonight, Tom, and mind it's a good one. We shall need all our strength if we are to hunt the dodo uh, uh, more successfully uh, uh, tomorrow. Aye, aye, Captain. So Tom gave them all a huge supper of doughnuts, soaked in rum. All the doughnuts they hadn't used for the dodo trap. <laughs> and the pirates slept far more deeply than they'd ever meant to. In fact, the next day they overslept for hours, while Tom sailed the ship as far away from the island of the dodos as he possibly could. Hands on deck! All hands on deck! Fall in for the dodo hunt! Dodos, Captain? What are you talking about? There aren't any dodos in the middle of the ocean. But, 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 but the island! Oh, those birds! Where are they? You must have been dreaming, Captain. We're nowhere near land. And as the crew were all far too sleepy to remember anything, the Captain gave up. The Black Pig continued her voyage over the wide Indian Ocean. The dodos continued to live peacefully on their island. And for all we know, they may still be there. Help! 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 Roistering oysters, what a ridiculous rumpus. Master mate, Barnabas, Willie, what in the name of Neptune are you all doing up there? B -b -b Beggy pong, Captain. B -b 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 there's, there's a b -b -b mouse in the crew's quarters. It was some time before the captain was able to persuade his crew to come down from the crow's nest. And when at last they did, Pugwash was in a very bad temper indeed. Crippling crayfish. You're a fine lot, you are. Scared stiff by a mouse. Ah, but this weren't no hungry mouse, Captain. Huge it were, Captain. Twice my size. Hey, and, and we saw it shadow. Horrible. In which case, arm yourself to the teeth, me hearties. This thing, whatever it is, must be destroyed. Very soon, the pirates were preparing for the hunt. They were still frightened, and would have been even more so if they'd known what was approaching on the starboard bow as the harbour clock struck midnight. 
Muffle the oars, me handsomes. That old ruffian's in for the shock of his life in a moment. Mm. Already? Right. We will search every nook and cranny of the ship. Lead on, master mate. Aye, aye, Captain. Lead on, pirate Barnabas. Aye, aye, master mate. Lead on, Willy boy. It's not fair. There's never anyone for me to give the orders to. <laughs> See anything, Pirate Willy? Uh, nothing, Captain. Only Tom the cabin boy asleep in his bunk. Hear anything, Pirate Barnabas? Nothing, Captain. Smell anything, Master Mate? <laughs> it's you! <laughs> One of them's caught a cold by the sound of it. They'll catch a deal worse in a moment. Right, uh, that's every corner accounted for except my cabin. And if there's nothing there, I shall know you've been imagining things. Lead on. There you are, told you so. Not a thing in sight. Oh! It's a mouse. Help! 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 Oh, what's that? Someone coming? It's Pugwash! They're armed! Run for it! Here, what was them splashes? Who was them blokes what was running away? And what was that thing in my cabin? Hey there! What on earth was all that noise about? Shouting and banging and bumping. And has anyone seen my pet mouse? Mouse? Well, here it is. In your cabin, Captain. Hello, Whiskers. What do you mean by escaping like that? Look, Captain, here he is. And look what a huge shadow he makes on the cabin wall. Well, I'll be... Oh, come on, all of you. It's bedtime. And very soon, all the pirates were fast asleep in their bunks. The captain slept too, dreaming of buried treasure. And nobody knew what had really happened that night, except possibly Tom's mouse. It's only a wasp sting. Only a wasp sting, indeed. Suffering seahorses. I'll slay that wasp. I'll... I'll... Uh, I know what I'll do. I'll offer a reward to someone else to slay it for me. Fifty golden crowns. It'll be safer that way. Right yo, Captain, sir. The Higgs sect shall molest you no more. Expect with a blooming butterfly net. It's my turn now, and I prefer the cold steel.
Nay, you're out of date with your old-fashioned cutlass. I'm for modern ways. Gunpowder, cannon, and a pot of honey. Wasps like honey. <laughs> Wasp, eh? There's a good wasp. The fools! Idiots! The, the mate nearly drowns himself, Barnabas brings half the rigging down, and Willie blows the ship up. The, uh, 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 you know, Captain, the easy way to catch a wasp is with a mug and a bit of paper. Like this. Well, I never. Tom lad, the reward is yours. Keep it, Captain. The reward was for killing the wasp. I'm going to look after it till we reach land. And you're going to need the money to put this lot straight. Whistling widow shins. It's the witches. Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. How now, you secret black and midnight hags? Why, fancy that. It's the captain. What is it you do? Making a nice cup of tea, ducks. One lump or two. <laughs> Feel better for that, I dare say, ducks. And what could we do for you, love? Well, I called about your advertisement. Uh, it's here somewhere. Well, which one was that, dearie? There he is. What's he up to, then? Shh! Let's hide. We'll soon find out. Which is? Hey, I don't like it. Shh! Listen. And we've got a bottle of the secret lotion right here. Wondrous stuff it is, Ducky. Works like magic. Hear that? Magic, she said. The price is ten gold pieces to you, dearie. Ten gold pe... But that's daylight... Th th I mean moonlight robbery. Not when you see what'll do for you, ducks. You won't know yourself. You won't, you know. I knew it. He's going to change himself into something. And the girls will fair swoon when they see you. Something nasty at that. Oh, very well. Here's the money. And here's the potion. Quick, back the ship. He's coming. And remember, try it out first thing in the morning. Bye, dearie. Good luck. The morning was clear and bright after the thunderstorm and Pugwash and his crew were safely back aboard their ship. The captain slept well after his adventure with the witches, but the pirates woke anxious and early. Medley with the hand load. that's what it is. I don't like it. Nah, no, me neither. First thing in the morning, they said. Let's go and see what he's up to. So the pirates set off for the captain's cabin. They passed Tom fast asleep in the storeroom and came to the cabin door. He's not there. He's not answering, you mean? Maybe he is there, only, uh, well, uh, maybe he's changed like. We best affected head tree. There you see, he's gone. He's. Oh, no. Oh. It's like I said, he, he's changed himself. Oh, Captain, how could you? Uh -uh. Uh, uh, yes, Captain. Uh, pardon me, Captain. Uh, morning, Captain. Oh, dear. Uh -uh. What's the, uh, uh, the orders for the day, Captain? <laughs> Fancy a tasty bit of seaweed for your breakfast, Captain. Stuttering starfish, what are you all up to? I get up early to take a turn on the top deck, come back and find you all gaping at a... Oh, drat that, cabin boy. Tom! Yes, Captain? What is this loathsome creature doing in my cabin? If you must collect tame toads, kindly keep them in your own quarters. Sorry, Captain. And now I must try out my new patent medicine. 
Amazing what you can buy these days. Works like magic, they say. Won't recognize myself once I've used it. And the girls will swoon with delight when they see me. <laughs> My goodness, yes, my heart is. If those old ladies are right, it's fantastic what this hair restorative will do. <laughs> Thank you.